On Saturday, February 10th, the Hawthorne Wiseburn Library celebrated its 30th year anniversary. Complete with children dressed like their favorite storybook character, the library invited the community to take part in the celebration. The library staff, county officials, and school trustees also took part in Wiseburn's 30th year anniversary. Supervisor Burke. Uh, most, a lot of you probably are not aware, but we had a small gathering here a little over a year ago where we honored the friends of the, of the Wiseburn Library. And it's because of the hard work and dedication of those friends of this library that I think that we were successful in keeping this library open during the last budget talks. And uh, this community is very important for you to continue to show support for the Wiseburn Library because we are about to go into the budget sessions again starting next month. And, libraries to be at the top of the list again so keep your letters coming your phone calls coming and show your support for your library and i'm sure that this, this one will be here for another 30 30 years claudia where are you at claudia claudia here she, here she is. on behalf of supervisor yvonne brathway burke i'd like to make a presentation and some accommodation to the wyburn library 30th anniversary in recognition of dedicated service to the affairs of the community and for the civic pride demonstrated by numerous contributions for the benefit of all the citizens of Los Angeles County. And it's signed Supervisor Yvonne Brathwaite. Thank you. We also have a proclamation honoring the 30th anniversary of the Weisburn Library. And I'll read a part of it. Two generations of Hawthorne families have relied on the many programs and highly professional services of the Weisburn Library, which has also served as a convenient resource for thousands of nearby aerospace employees who have relied on the excellent selection of materials and pleasant facilities at this location. It is a great honor to have all of you and your hard work and the work of the City Council to keep this library going. I'd like to make this first presentation on behalf of the entire City Council. I'm really honored to represent the Wiseburn School District. We appreciate this opportunity. 30 years ago, we were out in that parking lot on a stand made of wood with the dignitaries from the city and the county. And I was sitting next to Kenny Hahn, and we were, rep we, we were reminiscing on how this all came about. Very frankly, the idea was germinated during a poker game <laughs> in St. Louis at the National School Boards Association Conference, and all of our school board members were there and the then superintendent, Don Smith. Uh, I don't remember whether it was George's idea or mine. However, we decided that it would be a good idea to move the library off of Aviation Boulevard. And one word led to the next, and we visited Kenny Hahn, and Kenny Hahn said he would support it. Actually, the signatories to the agreement <coughs> are only the city and the Wiseburn School District. Wiseburn donated the land, the city built the library, and the county agreed to stock it and staff it. And here we are today. It was quite a feat. It was a, a wonderful thing that we were able to accomplish. And hopefully, uh, as Chuck said, 
hopefully 30 years from now it will still be here. It's such an honor for me to have been introduced by Dorothy Anderson to be in this room today with Jean McDowell, Ron Nathanson, and some people who are real heroes to me. 30 years after the beginning of this, it's just a very special day for the community and the school district to have everybody here today. There's a definite connection between the school district, the Wiseburn School District, and this branch library. It does sit on our land here of Cabrillo School, and that makes it extremely convenient for the students that go to Cabrillo Elementary School, as well as Dana Middle School down the street, and possibly soon to be again the Peter Burnett School down the street that way. Since Laura came as library manager here a couple years ago, things really turned around and that connection was built more strongly. More and more students are coming to this library now. And it's been a very good thing for the school district and the community. At the University of Southern California, Dr. Stephen Krashen has done some research on the connection between the quality of the public library collection, the school library collection, and reading achievement. And he's finding that the better those collections are, the better students' reading achievement is. And so it's very, very important that we keep all of our public libraries open, especially this one, to serve us. And we build the collections of our elementary and middle and high school libraries. In the Wiseburn School District, we're doing just that. We have a plan that will put us in a good space by the beginning of the next century. We're on the second stage of that plan. Yes, last year, we split $5,000 between our three schools for book acquisition. This year, we're splitting $10,000. The next year, it'll be $20,000 the next year 40, and the following year 80, and that will be 1999. So as we enter the 21st century, we expect to have our library book collections very up to date and all automated, and it'll be first class doing that in the Wiseburn School District and then working with this branch here in the library in Hawthorne for all the students who are, of course, our future. So it's good to see everybody out here today. It's a very positive day, and there are many more positive days ahead for Hawthorne and for this area. Thank you very much. My name is Claudia Fischler, and I'm the new community library manager at the Weisburn Library here in Hawthorne. I understand that you've only been working here for five days. That's right. I just started. So how is your response that you've been getting since you've been here? Well, it's been wonderful. People have been calling out of the blue, offering to bring cookies, um, asking what time the program was starting, what they could do to help. It really is a wonderful community library. A football player with the Green Bay Packers! And you can't guess who this is. Nobody knows that more than 23-year-old Sergeant Sean Weatherspoon. Just, just let it circulate all day? 
he's going over to Mars' mission with his soldiers. But we'll do a backwash and a citric acid cleaning, and then do an RO cleaning tomorrow. But they're not talking about cleaning out the swimming pool. They're the guys in charge of supplying all the water for base camp. Weatherspoon and his team run the ROPU, the Reverse Osmosis Water Purification Unit. The water for base camp comes from this river. It's dirty, it's polluted, and it's full of bacteria. The mission of the ROPU is to make it good enough to drink. Tanker trucks haul the river water back to base camp, where it's stored in 3,000-gallon bladders. From there, you go through some cyclone separators that keep any other large particles from going through. This is the heart of the ROPU. From your turning your air compressor on to doing system cleans. That's where Weatherspoon's team works their magic. From there, you go into a basket strainer. It's basically a, a screen that you would have on your house. But the real workhorse of the system is the reverse osmosis filter. The water flows through this direction and goes right through the middle just like the cartridge filter. You can see inside there, you can see the holes that the, wa the, the purified water goes through. But that's how you get 99% of everything that's in the water out is this right here. And after that, add a little chlorine to kill germs, and voila. It's better than the bottled water that we actually